let's talk trash. Okay, I am Dana K. White. I am the author of Decluttering at the Speed of Life. I share decluttering strategies that actually work in real life for anyone. So about a year ago, I put out a video, we'll see if we remember to put it there, where I talked about starting with trash, okay? I talked about the best way to break through the feeling of being overwhelmed by clutter and that desire to declutter, but then feeling completely stopped and paralyzed by just not knowing what to do first. The best strategy for breaking through all of that is to tackle trash first, okay? Trash is step one in my five-step decluttering process, and it's step one for a reason. Now, talked about that, that video has done really well, it's helped a lot of people, but occasionally I'll get questions on that video saying, but what about this? What about the fact that I don't know what is trash, or how do I make a decision about what is trash, or are you saying just throw away everything that's perfectly good? No, that person clearly didn't watch the whole video. But I did want to clarify trash. And I'm saying this because I get it, right? I get how it feels when you are completely overwhelmed by the mess to feel like I don't trust myself to make decisions. I don't trust myself to do this. I don't think I can do this. It can't be that easy. Right? So I just want to make some clarifications as you get going on a decluttering project, how to identify trash. Well, I just want to be clear that when I say trash, what I mean is, um, trash, like actual, real, undebatable trash. If something makes you say, well, what if, or maybe, or, oh, should I throw that away? My mom would say throw that away, but I have all these reasons why I don't think I should throw. That's not what we're talking about in this step. To be clear, you're going to deal with that stuff as you move through the decluttering steps. Okay. So don't worry that, oh, if I don't make this decision now, it's all over. No, what I'm saying is in this step, the first step in my five step, no mess decluttering process, I'm saying actual, real, decision-free, angst-free trash. Now you might be thinking, but I have angst about everything and that's fine. We are here to help you with that. This process is specifically designed to help you through that angst, right? But for this point in the process, the trash is only the angst-free stuff. It's only the decision-free, okay? So here's the beauty of it. The other steps will lead you through every last thing. But this first step is to get you going. It gets you moving. It gives you something to do that is decision and emotion free. So that helps you identify. If I start to feel agony over making a decision about this item, or if I start to feel emotional about calling this item trash, then that's not what we're talking about. This step is emotion and decision free. It is simply looking for and identifying obvious trash to you. Not what your mama would call trash, not what your spouse would call trash, not what your best friend whose house is perfect and you've always wanted to just do everything the way that she does it, what she would call trash, we're talking about for you. Just identify if there is any trash, there's trash, okay, whatever. Even if you're sure there's no trash, you still look for trash because there are other benefits here, right? So first of all, you are immediately able to get started with no decisions, no emotions, and you immediately make an impact on this space if one item leaves. Because remember, with my decluttering process, we count it success for every item that leaves this space. And every item of trash that leaves counts. It counts as real decluttering. We are not gonna worry about the people who are like, trash is trash, that's not decluttering, whatever, they can do it their way. I'm just telling you, if you feel overwhelmed and this brings all these feelings and you're like, I can't identify trash, I wanna make it as easy as possible for you, okay? All right, so for every item that leaves, it's better, it's going straight into the black trash bag or whatever you have to put trash in, recycling bin, whatever you've got. It's going straight in there, so it's done, right? There's no decisions to be made. Yes, you have to take out the trash eventually, but all decisions, there really weren't any decisions because it went straight into there because it was obvious trash to you 
and then that goes out, right? So it just, it gives you a way to get started. It does a couple other things too. One of my most impactful, while simple, but still, I have to remind myself of it a lot, decluttering strategies is look, look, always look. When I see a mass of stuff, when I see a pile of clutter, and I don't know what's in there, my brain really imagines, even though I don't know what's in there, it's probably really important. It's probably gonna be overwhelming. It's probably gonna take me forever to deal with this stuff, right? And so it is my natural tendency to avoid it. I just, my, I don't wanna deal with that. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough energy. I, I just can't do this right now, right? So one of my best decluttering strategies is to tell myself, look, always look. Commitment free looking, meaning just look at this space. The trash gives me a very definite step to follow that also achieves the purpose of looking. Even if I'm convinced everything in there is important, I know that. At one point, I, when I didn't know how to do the no mess decluttering process and when I didn't understand that spaces are finite and all that kind of stuff, I put all this important stuff in there so I know it's important, okay? But I also know I need to declutter it. I am going to just look for trash. And as I look for trash, commitment-free, knowing that I'm not gonna have to make any difficult decisions, if it is a difficult decision, I'm just gonna skip it, then when I look into that space, I am achieving that goal of just looking, always looking, right? So I'm looking for trash, not paying attention specifically to everything, but because I'm looking for trash, I'm also identifying what isn't trash, right? And my brain is starting to adjust to what's in there. And now I know what's in this space. It is no longer a looming, daunting, unknown to me. I know what's in there. And that means that even if all I do today is the trash, I'm going to be more ready sooner to tackle this space and keep going because it's no longer unknown, which means it is no longer as overwhelming as it was before. I'm not saying it's not overwhelming. I'm saying it's less overwhelming than it was before, okay? So looking for trash means that I am looking at individual items instead of at the mass of stuff. The mass of stuff is what's overwhelming. The individual items are less overwhelming and now I'm adjusting my brain to what's in this space, okay? And then I really wanna dwell last on the okayness is that a word? On the permission from me, you don't need permission from me for anything. It's your house, you do what you want. But if you need permission, or if you need somebody to explain, it is great and it is a part of this decluttering method to be able to skip things, okay? Skipping is perfectly fine. We're gonna get to the point where we go through everything every single item in the process as we get to steps four and five. But especially here at the beginning, if you see something and you think, I know that should be trash, but I can't call it trash, skip it. It's okay. We have other strategies to get to those items that come later in the process. Don't let yourself be stopped by one daunting decision. Go ahead and do what you can do to move you through the process and we'll get there. We'll deal with it. And even if you declutter everything in this space except for that one item, this space is gonna be so much better than it was before. And you're going to be able to function in your home and in this space so much better than you could before, okay? But it is perfectly fine to skip it because here's the thing. Remember that these first three steps of the decluttering process, trash, easy stuff, duh donations, all decision-free, we're just talking about trash today, but what they do is they go ahead and eliminate things from the space. They make the space less cluttered. They make the pile smaller before you ever expend any emotional energy, okay? So you get that stuff out and then you have 
more bandwidth to make actual you know decisions based upon the decluttering questions because it's a less overwhelming amount of stuff so it's like why are we going to spend emotional energy or spend decision making energy even though the last two steps of the process are not based on emotions but still okay like decisions that you're going to have to make or questions you're going to have to answer why do we want to do that on things that we don't need to do that on let's get this stuff that is easy out of here first trash is the easiest of the easy stuff and it's what you identify as trash so remember if you start analyzing skip it if you start feeling all these feelings about how you should know what trash is but you don't and that's part of your prop skip it all right just get the trash that is obvious to you and even if you don't remove anything from the space there is still value in the trash step you're probably going to be able to remove some things okay but even if you didn't there's still value in that step because you're looking at individual items which means it's no longer a mass of unknown things it's stuff that you know what it is and then you're able to keep moving through the process more easily because you have looked at the individual items okay and just in case you don't believe me which i know is true right you don't believe me that you are going to be able to deal with something that you should know is trash but you don't know is trash so you can't remove it in the trash step okay Here, here's how it works i did an interview with someone who um had a very hard time identifying trash okay and she is the one who explained that the two decluttering questions helped her even when she couldn't identify it as trash. So she wasn't able to remove it in the trash step. That's perfectly fine, that's what we're saying here. But by the time she got to the decluttering questions and she asked herself, if I needed this used gum wrapper, where would I look for it first? That was the thing that was able to help her break through. So there are processes all along the way that are gonna help you identify what should and shouldn't be in your house. So it's okay if you need to skip it, okay? Whatever it takes to help you keep going. Anything that halts you in the process and makes you just wanna give up and step away, skip it. Move to the next step, try the next thing because our goal here is to break through that feeling of overwhelm and make progress. We're not necessarily going to make it perfect, but we are going to make it better and better is incredibly valuable. Okay. I hope that was helpful. I will talk to you next week. Bye.